Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I have another Vancouver feature for you. Let's get started. Up behind me, I've got filter sets in the activity stream. I'll link to it up above. I had a video recently where I showed all the new filtering capabilities within a workspace that I didn't realize were there. And one of the items was filter sets. And in Vancouver, um, not only are there filter sets, but we now have the ability to create filter sets in the activity stream. And I wanna show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna head over. This applies to any workspace. Notice this uh, feature is coming from the workspace release notes. So any workspace that has the activity stream uh, turned on, I've got actually a request an item open in the, the service operations workspace to show you and illustrate. So this is my service now sync uh, requested item. It goes through and it goes crawls the store and everything and pulls out my episode. Um, and as you can see, there is a lot of activity that happens as it's working through the crawl and adding um, updates to it. At the very bottom, you can see I've got, let me scroll down here, I've got the system administrator made a field change for um, the state or impact or priority. Actually, all of those were changed uh, when it was opened. And then at the very top here, I've got uh, a bunch of work notes right that went through and then I've got an attachment a comment um, and some more field changes right so what I showed in the previous video is that you can come in here and you can actually say hey I just want to see one particular thing maybe I just want to see attachments and it'll just show me the attachments or I just want to see specific field changes and I would go and say hey show me where the impact changed um, I have that post type turned off so let's turn it back on there I can see the field changes right so that's well that's good and what you can do is have pre-configured set of these and that's called filter sets and you can see it right there to the right of those drop downs filter sets now in my instance which is out of the box I haven't touched anything here it has one for conversational stuff so additional comments and uh, work notes and it basically just gets rid of all the other field changes and everything else and you just see those things but what's new in Vancouver is you can create one of these so let's create a new filter set together uh, we're gonna do demo for YouTube and I'm gonna do not additional types or additional comments and work notes I'm gonna do attachments and get rid of this one and uh, let's even do field changes but for the field changes um, I want to just see correlation ID and I don't have correlation ID there so I can't select correlation ID I know you may not really want correlation ID but let's go ahead and say this is my new filter set I want to see attachments and field changes um, and uh, let's let's do let's do impact because I think I changed the impact so at least see that I'll save that and now we can apply our filter set and it'll go ahead and filter everything all it's doing is it's pre-checking these for you so you don't have to go in and do all those clicks to check those different filters if you're searching for particular types of things um, so if I go to the conversational one I've got that one now I've got my demo for YouTube and notice there actually didn't notice this earlier I've got a little pencil over the one that I created so I can come in uh, I just realized my head is right in the way of that so I can come in and click that pencil and change my filter set after I've established it. So let's do something real quick to make this video worth your while. Let's go back to, or let's go to a requested item itself. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna change the configured fields for what shows up in the activity. So I'm just gonna click here. I don't know how to do this in a workspace. So that's why I'm going back to the form there. I'm gonna to go to configure that and I'm gonna add the correlation ID. Um, let's just add it there, hit save. And now that should show up for me to select in the drop down when I'm configuring my filter set now that I've turned it in or put, turned it on in this activity or fields that are monitoring in the activity log. So if I go back to my workspace, surface operations workspace, I'm gonna refresh the whole workspace so that way it grabs any changes like the changes I just made. And then I should be able to come in and edit that filter set and add that additional field for correlation ID. So let's just wait for it to load here just a second and then we'll go to our filter, filter sets, um, Ooh, that's interesting, my filter set's gone. There it is, <laughs> it appeared, okay, so it was loading. I had to panic for there for a second, hit the edit button, and now I should be able to add correlation ID, which I can, I can add correlation ID and see that change. Um, so now if I apply uh, my filter set, I see all the changes. I don't have any actual changes to the correlation ID. Let's go back out to the list of requested items um, and see if we can get that to update real quick. In order to change that correlation ID, I'm just gonna add it to my list view here correlation ID, click OK, and uh, we were looking at rhythm 1006 or 10006, uh, so we'll just wait to, for that to reload here. Okay, I've got my correlation ID. Again, we're looking at this row, 1, or 10006. 
we'll just type in a correlation ID of demo. That should trigger the field change um, for showing up in the activity. So if we go back to service operations workspace, there's that correlation ID is now demo. It was empty. Scroll down, I can see my other field changes. I can see my attachment. And of course, I can switch between these filter sets and uh, I can reset the filter and just go back to everything. So um, that is the new feature in Vancouver for updating filter sets or creating filter sets in the activity log. But that's it, that's a new feature and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in. Having a different way to navigate the activity stream of a ServiceNow record. Now remember I said that could be, I used a requested item, it could be an incident, it could be any record in ServiceNow in a workspace that has the activity stream enabled for you to filter it like that. Until next time, don't forget to always be learning.